Hello, Thomas Boyd here from MacCreate.com. Today I'm going to go through the fourth installment of my advanced creative adjustments in Aperture 3. I pulled some pictures out of my library that really illustrate different creative approaches to using Aperture 3 to make adjustments. And we're going to look at a variety of that and I'm going to try to describe my thought process as we go along. We're going to start with this image uh, out of the collection because it's really probably the most problematic of the bunch. It's shot under yellow street lights. That is a problem. That's the only light source except for the glowing red pipes. Now, the thing we need to deal with here and realize is the cool thing about this is, well, it's the motorcycle, of course, but it's also the red glowing pipes. We want to maintain that red but get rid of the yellow. So we have to be really careful. I'm going to switch over to full screen here by pushing the F key, bring up my adjustment HUD so I have the maximum size available to me. And I'm going to start out by messing around with the uh, white balance. And I'm just going to pick a spot here. I don't think this is going to work. You'll see that that took it, and I knew it would. It took it way, way, way too cool. It moved the slider all the way over. But all we got to do is kind of drag it back into shape. Now, if you go totally, totally to the blue, to the cool side, it doesn't look right. So we're just going to bring it back. But you don't have to go far before it starts getting too yellow. So we're, and it's subjective, of course. So I'm going to put it there, but I just found a better spot to run my eyedropper. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select my white balance eyedropper. I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to click on this tank. And it does nearly the same thing. I guess it wasn't any better. So we're just going to warm it back up. Okay, so there we are with that. And the next thing I want to do, this is shot, you know, handheld, available light. Let's just see what it was for fun. We were down to 1 50th of a second at f1.2 on a 50 millimeter lens. Um, there's a little motion blur in it, I can see. I'll zoom in so you can see it. A little motion blur. Uh, not too bad. There's also some fairly sharp areas in this thing. But you know what? It just kind of adds to it, too, you know? That doesn't bother me a whole lot. You know, this is not a, a tripod sharp image. But that's okay. It's about the content, really. So let's move on and try to get this thing where we want it. Now, there's, we have some shadow issues, so one thing I'm going to experiment with is opening up these shadows a little bit. And when I do that, it gets a little chalky. It gets a little too, too much. So one thing I want to play with here and show you what we can do with this is to come down here to the advanced um, part of the adjustment brick, and we just click on this little arrow, and we go down here to mid-contrast, and we start messing around with that a little bit. So I think that kind of brings it back into a reasonable looking um, gamut. So it's what we've done when we, when we take mid contrast back, you can see it gets real bright. And that's because we took this shadows up. Let's, let's do it in an extreme way. Let's take it way farther than I would. You know, and there's some drawbacks to doing that. You're going to pick up some noise in the shadows. But then let's play with this mid contrast slider and you can see what that does now again I think that that's too far to take this adjustment so I want to bring it bring it back down I, I just want to bring the shadows up a little bit especially in his face and then mediate that bad effect with the mid contrast slider so another thing I want to play with a little bit is definition let's just take it up now I can see I picked up some halo, which I really don't like, like around his hands here a little bit. That's not going to work for me. So I need to come back here down here to shadows, drag that back down just a little bit. That makes me feel a lot better about it. Uh, okay, where were we? Definition. Now I'm going to take this to the max so we can really see what's going on here. And again, too much definition, you're going to pick up... Um, Wherever the light, the dark is against the light, or the light against the dark, you're going to pick up some halos. Now, granted, I have definition all the way to the max, so 
I'm just going to watch those uh, halo areas and just this is not going to accept a lot of definition. We're going to leave it about right there. Uh, one thing I, I think I'd like to do to this is to dodge his face up a little. So we're just going to make a, a curves adjustment. And all we're doing is watching his face. Now I don't want to take it too far because it'll, I don't want anybody to notice that I judged his, that I dodged his face. So we're going to say add new curves adjustment. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Brush curves in is what I meant to say. And we're just going to brush that adjustment in over his face. And that doesn't look too bad. I'll, uh, I'll play around with it. You can see what we're dealing with here if I take it too far. It at least allows you to see where I brushed if I do that. So again, a real mild adjustment. Let's hit the M key. Here's what we started with, and here's what we ended with. That's a remarkable difference. This is before, 